good morning good afternoon good evening internet people brothers and sisters from whichever parts of the world you are in welcome back to adonai's kingdom the channel we talk about the most high god welcome 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 and uh yeah let's this is the channel we talk about the most high god the ways of the kingdom and how it was how it is and how it always will be my name's uh wahudi the messenger and let's start by with a word of prayer as usual holy god mighty god jehovah jireh lord of hosts we thank you for this day for a new new week new messages i bless your holy name i thank you for my viewers my listeners from whichever parts of the world they are in open up their hearts oh lord jesus let them understand that your ways are the real ways the ways of the kingdom of the ways to happiness the route to happiness prosperity and everything Use me as an oracle of your voice, O Jehovah. Touch me and touch each and every listener. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Take control of the meeting. In Yeshua's mighty name, amen and amen and amen. Yeah, I'm just jumping straight to the message. And uh, we are in the book of Samuel. First Samuel chapter number 18. We are seeing how David continues his journey to the king, to the palace. But now it's after he's won the war. <laughs> the last time he was winning the war, he fought the war. And now he's killed Goliath. He's gone to meet the king because the king really, King Saul really wants to meet him. You know, when you win a, a war or a battle, obviously everybody wants to be part of you. And, but when you are a, when you are a shepherd in the field with the sheep, nobody wants to be with you. Now David is a hero. Let's carry on. Okay, it's First Samuel chapter eighteen. We'll just go the first nine or ten verses, and the title is "Walking in Yahweh's Covering." Walking in the covering of the Most High God. Walking in Yahweh's covering. And then we'll see Saul wants to finish David. It's a conflict here of interest in Saul's part. Let's just jump to the word. And from verse 1 it says, And it was, as he had finished speaking to Saul, that's David, that Jonathan, Jonathan's soul had become attached to David's soul. And Jonathan loved him as himself. Jonathan is Saul, Saul's, uh, King Saul's son, who was the firstborn. And he was maybe five years older than David. But, you know, when you walk with the Holy Spirit, when you walk with God, there is that attachment that just comes naturally. People will want to be part of you. So, Jonathan, there's that pulling that came to him he wanted to be closer to david and they became so friends and saul the king took him on that day and did not allow him to return to his father's house so david was really welcomed in the palace and jonathan made a covenant with david because he loved him as himself see jonathan i mean somebody loving you just as himself because the souls are together that's why we say whenever you're in the kingdom you love god the holy spirit falls unto us and you find god is loving you and he gets so much attached to you because his holy spirit is into you and your spirit is in sync with the holy spirit so God doesn't want you to leave. He doesn't want to leave you because you're part and parcel of his children. This is the same thing. We are just comparing how things are. And verse 5, 
and Jonathan stripped himself of the cloak that's a jacket or jumper uh, which was on him and gave it to David and his and his garments even his sword and even his bow his bow and even his girdle and David went out wherever Saul would send him and he would succeed accordingly Saul appointed him over the soldiers and he was pleasing in the eyes of the people of, of all the people i mean this is this is what we call walking in yahweh's covering and also in the eyes of Saul's servants that those are the first five verses so you see whenever god places you he makes sure you are comfortable you will have friends you can confide in i mean here you see god controls the soul of jonathan and the soul is so much attached to david's and i mean david was just the last born of a farmer a nobody but now the first born of the king is so much attached to him see to god david was a crown prince but to the in the eyes of the people they did not know only god can bound such people together you see when uh, jonathan removed his cloak his jacket and placed it on david but spiritually he was handing david the crown but he didn't understand it he was handing david the crown and it would be maybe 20 years later when david was going to become a king so it was it will be 20 years later when david received the crown so they had the same soul together when you share your soul with jesus you'll receive his blessings since you are one with god so i mean the soul of jesus is, to us is the holy spirit so if we receive it we are part and parcel of the kingdom that's why you in the new testament you are, we are told be be scared of the one who can kill the soul and send it to hell the person who can kill the body the physical body that's nothing but the soul that's why the devil is always after your soul he's not after your body he knows whatever comes from your soul that's what he wants to control so you have to give your soul to the most high god yeshua let put your trust in god and in, with all your soul and mind that's why you find david was saying bless the lord o my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name bless the lord o my soul so your soul is so important in the kingdom ah <clears throat> So let's go carry on verse 6 and it was when they came when David returned from slaying the Philistine that the women came out of all the cities of Israel to sing with musical instruments the women came from all cities you know when you win when God helps you to win people will come from all corners of the world the women came out of all the cities of Israel to sing and with musical instruments in their hands towards King Saul with drums with joy and with cymbals and the cheering women sang out and said Saul has slain King Saul King Saul has slain his thousands and David his ten thousands you know even if you are you are a king this one is uh, beyond recognition now people are recognizing David more than the king and Saul was very chagrined chagrined and the matter displeased him and he said they ascribed to david ten thousand and to me they as ascribed the thousands and what more can he have but the kingdom and Saul eyed david from that day on that's why that let's end it there in verse 9 from that day on 
things change the the way he used to perceive david was totally different so you see in the short amount of time in the army david was promoted to the high rank when the spirit of god dwells in you you'll conquer mountains in record time if you put your trust in the most high god everything favors will just follow you on each and every time david became popular because he was a man after god's heart so you see when women sing and dance in your honor you are popular forget about men but women from all cities when women sing and dance in your honor you are popular in all cities of israel and it's mind-blowing but you have to be wise you see david we are told that he he was wise he didn't wait for this thing to overrun his mind he he was just when he was appointed to succeed uh, to look after the soldiers he was just wise and he did things according to the ways of the kingdom that's why you find already from day one david was being loved by people and that's when you see saul started eyeing david with envy and you know envy is from the devil because david had become an ex unexpectedly blessed the moment let's fast forward in our world right now the moment you start i mean your blessings start coming people will eye you with envy but when you are in the same level you are a pigeon a, a dove you are flocking with them together but the moment you become an ego an eagle flying soaring high soaring high above all the other birds you fly on top of above the clouds you are all by yourself conquering that's when envy start following people eyeing you but you have just you just have to trust in the lord in yeshua's mighty name amen and amen if you are there you want to sow you want to be an ego you want to be a child of god you want to be where favor is following you every single day of your life just say this prayer after me you want to be part of the kingdom you don't know anything about christ you want to be part and parcel and a child of god and give your life to jesus just say this prayer father lord i come before you as a sinner i've sinned against you and against the world cleanse me of all my sins i want to be your child i know i've been a bad man a bad woman a bad child with evil desires i want my conscience to be pure to look after good things to walk in the good way i believe that jesus christ died for my sins yes he was hung on the cross and on the third day he rose again and he seated on your right hand side father lord accept me in your kingdom in jesus name amen and amen if you say that prayer get a bible a king james version and start reading it slowly by slowly you'll never be the same again my brothers there my sisters and also join a church near you and you mingle with the christians brothers and sisters and you find a brand new family surrounding you god bless you my brother my sister wherever you are and father i pray for my viewers each and every one of them let them know how to soar like eagles let them know how to fly i mean according to the ways of the kingdom not according to the ways of the world bless them protect them each and every one of them as they go about their duties then their normal work duties businesses bless them mightily in jesus name amen and amen may the holy one of israel bless you mightily see you next time shalom peace amen and amen